Do you have a hard time sticking with a diet long enough to get results or lose the weight only to gain it back again? Yo-yo dieting can leave you feeling defeated, but you can disrupt the cycle. The best way to do so is with food swaps. In this video, I share two things that drive yo-yo dieting and how you can break free by simply choosing different foods. The challenge of overcoming yo-yo dieting stems from the fact that it has both a mental and physical component. For instance, it's easy to grasp the importance of reaching and maintaining a healthy weight, yet embarking on a diet plan can bring up a range of fears from whether you'll be able to adopt the new habits to how others will react to you as you are changing your habits. Those mental aspects are outside of the scope of this video, but they are made easier to deal with when you have the physical side of yo-yo dieting under control, and that is accomplished by making different food choices. When you eat foods like the three C's, cookies, cakes, and candies, or other refined carbohydrates, they break down quickly and spike your blood sugar. At first, these quick digesting foods feel comforting because they provide a lot of readily available energy directly into your system and they cause the release of a feel-good chemical called dopamine in your brain that makes you feel relaxed and comfortable. However, this energy and pleasurable feeling leave as quickly as they come. Uh, your body works hard to maintain your blood sugar level within a narrow window. When the sugar level spikes up due to eating quick digesting foods, your pancreas pumps out insulin to move the excess sugar out of your blood. And the result is often a dramatic and unstable drop in blood sugar that must be brought back up with more food. And this roller coaster of blood sugar leads to yo yo dieting. When your blood sugar drops, you feel bad until you eat more quick digesting junk food. When you do, you regain your energy and get another dose of feel good chemicals released. However, the euphoria is short lived, and over time, the cells that receive the dopamine down regulate, meaning that you need more and more sugar or refined foods to feel good. So you can see why it is challenging to break free from yo-yo dieting, but you can do so. It just requires breaking the pattern. The best way to do that is to eat to stabilize your blood sugar. When you do this, you avoid the blood sugar dips that drive cravings and you allow the dopamine receptors in the brain to reset, making it easier to maintain a steady and productive diet. Now I'm going to give you a few specific food swaps to stop yo-yo dieting. What you'll notice is that the yo-yo inducing foods are quick foods, meaning that they can be eaten quickly and digested quickly, putting you on the blood sugar roller coaster ride that I was talking about earlier. Okay, let's take a look at a day of eating. If you are a breakfast eater, controlling yo-yo dieting starts with that first meal of the day. Uh, when we think about traditional breakfast foods, we think of things that can be eaten in a few minutes, like a bowl of cereal or a grab-and-go breakfast bar. And these foods contain a lot of refined carbohydrates and sugar, so they take very little time for your body to digest and likely cause the release of dopamine in your brain, making you crave more food before your next meal. The better breakfast swap is an omelet, or if you are in a hurry, grab a couple of hard-boiled eggs. Eggs provide a good mix of fat and protein that digest much slower than refined carbohydrates. That slowed digestion causes a much slower rise and fall in blood sugar. So when you choose eggs over cereal, you might consume the same number of calories, yet your hunger will remain satisfied for much longer due to how your body handles the nutrients. A traditional lunchtime meal is a sub sandwich. A better choice is a salad. The sandwich bread or wrap is refined, and this is true even if it has visible grains in it or it is green in color because it contains spinach. Um, a salad will take much longer to eat than a sandwich, and it has a better fiber to carb ratio. Fiber is a nutrient that is not easily digested, so it slows the digestion of your meal and it dampens the rise in blood sugar after the meal. If you're familiar with my 0123 strategy, which are four daily habits for weight loss, you know that eating a daily salad is one of those habits. And now for some of you, that sounds boring, but my response to that is that you haven't yet learned 
how to make a great tasting salad that you look forward to eating. Start thinking of salad as a meal, not a side, and load it with healthy, hunger-satisfying fats and proteins like feta cheese and slivered almonds and walnuts and avocado slices and chicken or salmon. You will not only have a meal that you look forward to eating every day, but also a secret weapon for effortless weight control. I explain more about how to get a daily salad working for you in the video series that comes with the free 0123 strategy download and you can follow the links in this video and below in the description for that. As for a dinner time swap, trade a burger on a bun for a burger steak. Uh, two nutrients that do not mix are refined carbs and fat. A burger bun is refined carbs, a hamburger contains fat. Carbs and fats both supply your body with energy. However, because the refined carbs of the bun digest quickly, it floods your bloodstream with energy, meeting your body's needs and then some. By the time the slower digesting fat becomes available, there's no use for the energy and so it gets stored as fat for future use. By discarding the bun, you slow the digestion of the meal and get the slow and steady blood sugar rise that keeps you in control. And I mentioned swapping a burger on a bun for a burger steak. And what I mean by that is that you can make the burger feel more like a steak meal by piling additional slow digesting items on top of it. A few choices include sauteed mushrooms and onions, cheese, and pesto, which is an oil-based condiment that can be used in place of sugary ketchup. You know, we live in a fast-paced society, but it pays to slow down when it comes to getting in control of your yo-yo dieting. Less refined foods take longer to eat and longer to digest. Because the nutrients from these slow foods are trickled into your bloodstream, your blood sugar level stays stable, keeping hunger away for hours and shutting down cravings. The only thing you need to do is make a choice. Pick eggs over cereal, a salad over a sub, and turn your hamburger into a steak burger that you can eat with a knife and fork. I acknowledge that making the better food choice is challenging at first, but within a few days, the hunger and energy stability that you achieve will make it easier to continue. I hope this was helpful. Please click subscribe before you go so that you can become part of my community. Thanks so much for watching.